working on a position where the person comes from behind you, grabs you, and turns you. A lot of people do this position wrong. That they're actually practicing. Turn back. They're actually practicing grabbing like this, which doesn't make a lot of sense for the person to grab you like this. Although, you know, someone could grab the punch you here, but normally this position is done when the guy comes behind you, he grabs your shoulder, and he turns you, he's going to punch you in the face. Okay? So we're going to have Randall grab you from behind here. The first thing, he grabs. As soon as he pulls me, I want to get my balance and maintain proper base. My elbow is going to be blocking my face. Notice how my hands are here. If my left elbow is blocking my face, that hand's in the front, not the back. Okay? If he grabs my right shoulder as he pulls me, my right hand is the first one to grab here to confirm the grip, and then I'm here. Now, the next part of my move is to take a slight 45 grangle step back. Very important not to step straight back. If I make a big step, he's just going to follow me. Okay? I take a slight 45 degree angle step. Then I keep my connection with him. Alright? I still feel his energy and I have a good connection with his body. Then I'm going to step forward in front. Both hands on the wrist in the same place. Locking my elbow down tight over his elbow. And I'm just going to bend my knees and lift up here. Alright? So we'll go again. If he goes to punch me, I have my face here covered with the elbow. I don't want to try to block four or five punches, guys, okay? He throws a punch, one punch, step and go. I also have a nice wrist lock here. After I break the guy's arm, he may go to the ground. I can also make an elbow to the side of the face. Okay? So, one last time.